everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange. <laughs> Today we're playing episode three. We are one step closer to discovering what's going on at the school and I'm still not sure how we're gonna stop this tornado from happening, but we'll figure it out eventually. Also, I have realized I am not using my rewind at the full potential that I should be using it. So I understand you guys telling me I need to use that rewind a lot more and I will try to keep it in mind. I just, I, I'm just so used to the, the game just being like that's your fate that's how it is and i i just need to keep reminding myself that like i can fix it there's a million different possibilities and i don't have to just like settle for some but then again at the same time i do like some of these you know choices and sometimes i don't want to change them because i'm i'm fine with what the consequences are so we'll just keep that in mind for today so let's get started this is episode three What? Why am I freaking out? Kate's fine. She's fine. We saved her last episode. Oh, I think it's because I pulled an all-nighter doing research. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. All over what? Oh, I forgot. I didn't clean up. Well, I guess I did. Um... I didn't clean up that though. Look. Look here for what? Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. Mm -hmm. But crime does not delay. I so, need yeah, to stay on top of this investigation. I am in full investigation mode trying to figure out um, how to prove that Nathan drugged Kate because I told her I would prove it. I would get to the bottom of it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I should probably clean this up, huh? No way can I clean that shit off. I Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. Damn, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna browse around for a bit. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Ew. What even is that? I don't even know what that is. Um, open the drawer. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. This ha I I agree. I cannot stand bullying. Also, some of you commented that um this kind of is like a high school. It's like a boarding school or whatever because I kept saying like there's no way this is a high school. Like isn't this college because she has like a major and she has a dorm and she's living by herself, so that's why I thought it was a college. But you guys were saying no, it's still kind of high school. Um so that explains some of the petty shit that's going on, but I was like this is too much. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. I'm oh my gosh. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name yet. That is so, so scummy. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Oh, is, I is that? Be so disappointed. Yeah, I was like, is that an accomplishment or something or I what? I should hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school, if she does. Hmm. I hope so because they definitely didn't beforehand. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Oh, so this is everybody. Oh, they're all saying I'm a hero. Well, everybody. You know, everybody would have done the same thing, right? Everybody they... will be talking about Kate now. 
Yeah. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Everybody just have some sympathy. Oh, feed. Uh, oh, I can't water my plant. I was going to say feed my plant. I can't water it. Oh, I can. Oh, that's my bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Yeah, an accomplishment. Let's turn on the light. There we go. That didn't do much. Okay, um, let's leave unless I needed something. It is dark. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. Oh. Am I playing a horror game now? I mean, I'm I'm down, but like. I didn't think this was a horror game. <laughs> um, oh, this is gonna be hard to control. End of the world party. Yep, yep, yep. We're not going to that because we're not gonna live to see that day. Potentially. I don't know. I actually don't know what day it is. Oh, before we get started, uh, I hate to do this to you guys, but we need to check this journal out. I'm gonna kind of skim through this. Okay, so basically this one, she's saying, I don't really think that the tornado vision and snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue. Um, but I'm glad to be with Chloe again. Um, and then starts here. I ran into Kate in the showers and Victoria then wrote some shit on the mirror that I erased. And then I'm complaining about Victoria saying, why does she have to bully Kate? Like we're supposed to be adults here. Um, only Victoria can make me feel dirty in the shower. Bars. After listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on about or rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. Uh, I thought that Nathan was in here actually was weird and fucked up. I better start being careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. Now Nathan or somebody is texting me creepy stuff. Then I visited Kate. She was crying in the dark. I was so sad to see her like this. And I wish I could take a picture of her framed um, in her expressionist misery, which would have been fucked up. So then we talked about Kate. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. She told me Nathan Prescott gave her a ride and uh, she thinks that he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what, but we know that he did because he's a slime bag. Um, it's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. So I've seen exactly for myself what that fucker is capable of for sure. And then of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal, but I told her no. I felt like shit, but I told her that she needed more proof that she was drugged and she was going up against the whole Prescott Empire, not just one rich white boy on dope, also bars. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer, but we resolved that. So all good. So then here we're talking about Warren. Warren was, you know, waiting for me um, when he asked me to go to the movies with him. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten hold of Warren to see if he was okay. I do owe him. And then I told him what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space. But ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately or just so he could have his own human time machine or capture me for scientific experiments or maybe go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did say I was gonna go to the drive-in with him. Uh, I hope he doesn't make a lame move on me, even though he will. And then she says Warren and I have a lot of common, but he's like a super cool geek brother, unfortunately, friend zoning him, which I don't want to happen. We'll see though. <laughs> then we talk about the diner, what happened, um, and then we saw uh, Chloe's mom, Joyce, which she was glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. I can see she actually loves David, even though I don't see how breakfast was awesome. Then um, went over Chloe and you know, how we proved it to her and I felt like a total boss, except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I reround. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. That is the first sign of we've had some com consequences now. Um, so we got to be really careful of that. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. That pissed me off a little bit. She pissed me off because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not, you know, concerned about that because it ended up being a huge factor in saving Kate's life. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered. I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. That was the first sign of Chloe that I didn't quite like when she acted like that, but I can understand she gets kind of like, like she doesn't think straight, you know, first. And I kind of have to like keep reminding her, like, you know, have some common sense and don't do weird shit like that. So we went to Chloe's secret lair. Um, the guy that Chloe owes money to showed up, some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the only loan shark I hadn't expected, but I could literally feel his bad, bad vibe. I can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun? And now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe and maybe me. 
Chloe flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets, which means we definitely have another suspect. This was not how I intended to spend my time. After all that drama, Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks. Basically, um, Chloe fucking almost died <laughs> multiple times. She told me about Frank, which um, explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. <laughs> it shocks me that the girl I grew up wa with watching SpongeBob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side. And yeah, it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks because Chloe's leg got stuck in the rail. And of course, I had to save her life. And then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means or doesn't. You know, after I saved Chloe's life, she felt really grateful. She was so sweet and she said that this had been the best week of her life despite everything. This made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world. But what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have, might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. We'll have to keep that in mind. Next, David Madison stopped to talk to me um, without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. This is when I figured out that David might not be the bad guy. He definitely has something to do with everything, but he might not be the actual villain in this story. He's a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with me or Chloe, but all the shit he's pulled in treating Kate like she's a suspect it just makes me hard to get along with him, um, but I promise to try. Something odd happened as if everything isn't bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson and she ran away with him in t from him in tears. I know Kate, Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say? Um, and then basically, yeah, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking. I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but it, I was just about to use my rewind to get her back on the roof, or I was just able to. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. Made it to the roof, but I felt like my head was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try to talk her down on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. That was stressful as heck. I covered everything I could and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliche or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't show it right now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge, alive. I almost cried in her arms. I also almost cried IRL. I know it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the rooftop to the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal, the people who ignored me and treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. This might be the strangest thing to happen to me. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which is probably a good thing. I didn't think about talking to them afterwards, but I don't know if I even had the chance. So then she talks about the feeling of everybody praising her and patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school. But like I said, I can't blame everybody. I still don't really know how or where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile when she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt really cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. So maybe Blackwell Academy isn't so bad. Um, it definitely is. Definitely is bad. <laughs> but we'll, we'll fix that. We're gonna fix that. It's not enough that Kate is alive and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit i still had to get the blackwell third degree from principal wells it was bizarre to be in his tacky office with nathan prescott david madison and dr mr jefferson calmly talking about why uh, kate would attempt suicide i was quiet but getting inside just replaying in my head the moment when kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes part of me wanted to smash nathan's smug face against the desk knowing he had a lot to do with kate's suicide attempt i thought about doing it then flipping a quick rewind but i knew that'd be a start of a bad and dangerous habit if they gave me the option, I would have done it. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what had happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt this would have happened to a Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. There'll be more it's, if it's the last thing I do, which could be if I'm not more careful. So after the principal's thing, I hung out on the lawn with Warren and he's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did. 
Um, but I have to say, it's better to be treated like a hero at school than like a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective, which I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening? I skimmed through that a lot faster than I normally do, um, just because I just want to get started. I just want to get started and I'm not going to go through all this because we kind of know everybody. So let's continue. This is scary as shit. Why is it so dark? Oh yeah, probably because it's the middle of the night. Duh. What you doing, Dana? It's the middle of the night, girl. You look sad. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I mean... Yeah, like, but the, this sucks. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Yeah, um, why was she on the roof? Kate was serious, that's all you know? That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I'm not. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. Ew, let me redo that. <laughs> Ew, let me redo that. Hey Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Dana knows about the video, right? Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. Yeah. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. Yeah. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Um, yes, yeah. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. That went pretty well, that conversation. Um, Victoria, we found out that Victoria's, uh, sneaking out. <sighs> Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Yeah, 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 ye
you in? Um, and then Victoria replied, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around with gets in trouble. And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. She doesn't seem that devastated that he's gone. Um, the relationship is fake. 100%. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Thirty dollars to clean? I mean, if it's one sweater, that's crazy. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. <laughs> okay. Aren't we all though? Max, come on, look at yourself. Look at yourself, honey. Um. Oh yeah, sure. I'm taking a photo. Sure. Why not? That's low-key cool, though. I don't want to make fun of her for that. I like that. Um, and then a picture. What is this? Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Of course she did. Of course she did. Now I don't feel so bad for sneaking around in her room. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. God, they're so lame. They're such losers. I hate them. I hate them both. I hate them both. Uh, what's on her desk? I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Burn, Max. Whoa, Such a good burn. Tea. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yes. I do not take any evidence, I guess. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. <laughs> I bet. Um, shoes? Those boots are made for walking runways. Okay. Anything here? Victoria is about as straight as me. <gasps> but she really a unique Bag. point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Oh yeah. Yup, I remember that. This was oh, this was for Mr. Jefferson's class too. Why does a she's a high achieving student, or she at least acts like one? Why does she make other Nothing people do her work? Here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. I am Not bummed that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. I'm bummed. I expected more from Victoria. She's a smart cookie, though. What does this say? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Aww. That's sad. Um, okay. This way. What's my task again? I forgot. Everybody's saying get well there. And I don't need to look at that. Uh, where should we go? We should go. Oh, I have to go meet, um, Chloe. I forgot. Let's go meet Chloe. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. In front of the main hall? Hopefully there's nobody out here because I don't want to talk to anybody. Ah, gotcha. Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me. Where is he? Nobody oh, he's... can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Is he? Is he drunk? Oh, I'm gonna have to use my powers, huh? To get to get past him, or can I just go all the way around? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to use my powers, huh? This would be nice if I had powers of invincibility, but I don't. Uh, I'm all complaining about my time traveling power when <laughs> just because I don't have invincibility. Oh, turn up, Max. Yep, yep, yep. I'm coming. I'm coming. Should I reply? No. I'm just gonna go around here and hopefully you don't see me. And hopefully you don't see me. Please do not look at me. Mr. Shit. Caulfield, you have to be stealthier <laughs> than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I I'm sorry, Principal Wells. 
I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Uh... I don't think I rewind, huh? Do I? No, because he's just going to catch me. E what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, do I go in here to kind of do a little sprinkler situation again? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Yeah, I do a little sprinkler situation again. What's in here? Nothing here. No, I don't. Toolbox? Nothing but tools. Mm. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nuts and bolts, magazine. Girl stuff? Oh, girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Victoria? Is this her and Nathan's, like, bone room or something? That is disgusting. Magazines? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I don't know if he is. Um, is there anything useful in here? There's really nothing useful? Oh, girl right. stuff? He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, okay. I just need to be faster. I see. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I don't think, um, even by the end of this game that I'm going to be used to the rewind mechanics. Okay, let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Let's go. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Go Bigfoots. Okay. What am I doing? Main oh, hall? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Chloe. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. Okay. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Um, I think I handled that pretty so well, actually. Rock star? Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Um, I hope so. What's chaos theory? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. No, Especially don't make me doubt after myself. I just got Nathan expelled. Don't make me doubt do, myself. Do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um, about Kate or about Rachel? Let's talk about Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... 
Uh, kicking it? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert Aww, here. That's cute. I thought about redoing that, but I I don't know. It's not really giving me the option. Thank you again so much for helping me put the ah! portfolio. Bitch alert. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. It's almost you know, midnight. What the fuck are you doing with the student? I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. Barf! Yeah. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You Barf! Love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. <laughs> that could be fun, don't you think? <laughs> I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only- Absolutely- Oh! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. It took everything in me not to puke right then and there. It's so stupid. Oh, oh it's so it's stupid. Life is so unfair. Can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I did not think that she could even get any worse, but I was wrong. That was insanity. And I think Mr. Jefferson handled that very appropriately, besides the fact that he was like, oh, I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm just gonna... How many times are you gonna ignore that, hmm? I get that she's powerful, though. Chloe the Keymaster. You know Chloe the Keymaster. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. I got my rewind, girl. I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. I'm down. My powers can't fail me now. Hello? You gonna find the right key? What is this? Only hat? a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Am I supposed to explore while she fumbles with the keys? Chloe, hurry up! Hurry That's up! It. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. 
Thanks to Frank. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why yeah, I could. You think the key is just gonna be hanging out in this room? Wouldn't really be top secret then. Nothing here. See, that's where the key would be. But it's not. Dead end. Files. Searching. Nothing here. Files. More files, probably. Boring. Mm-hmm. Crap. Okay. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. Oh. My plan has a name. My plan is kick down the door and then I rewind so the evidence never occurred. Hey, Warren. You busy? Oh, Warren! Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Backup? Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I love him. I love Sus him. Ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Dude. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Wow, my plan was just kick down the door, um, root through the stuff, and then rewind. Because I still have the evidence, and I still have the knowledge, and Chloe just wouldn't, but I can just tell her everything. Um, but no, Max, just first plan she thinks of is to just construct a device that can pick locks. Um, yeah. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Classic. Where's the art and science lab? Trash can. Oh, Kate's locker. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Nah. Oh my god, it is dark. Open. See why these these rooms would be locked There's at night. There's got to be something I can use here. Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Am I supposed to get that joke? I don't. Oh, science. Oh, wait. Let me look at what Lauren, Lauren Warren said. Oh, okay. Oh, he did a little illustration. Everybody knows that. So you're really going to try this. Keyword is try. About here. Okay. Pay attention, 007. Um, you have to find four objects, sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Um, and then here's how you do it. And we pretty much, oh my God, please. We take the sugar and the sodium chlorate and then make a bomb. Yeah, that kind of looks like it explodes. What? Sodium chlorate, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Okay. I'm gonna act like I'm not lost. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Um, no. No. So that was it right there, right? Oh wait, this way? Yeah, weed killer. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Can I grab it? There we go. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Use the damn chair. Okay, so I got that. Only now we need... I... Um. Now we need... Warren? 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 
Um, now we need sugar, a soda can, and duct tape. Seems to go. Sugar, a soda can, and duct tape. I don't think any of that will be in here. Right? Nah, let's go. Okay, let's leave. We'll go to a vending machine to get a soda. Um, we will go... I don't know where to get sugar. Poster, where's the vending machine? The vending machine's over here. Yeah! Do you have money? Release the crack can. Nice. Okay, got a soda. It's all mine anyway. Now we need sugar. Where are we gonna You're find sugar? Home, Max. Where are we gonna find sugar? What does Warren say? Still there? Yeah. It took me 10 minutes to find a soda can and some sodium chlorate. I need to concentrate now. Okay. Oh, he's such a cutie. He's all checking in on me. Okay, where's the... Um, is that, that's the door I just went in, so I can go through that other door. Oh, there's also this one. This is the photography door, right? The photography class? This is like a scene in a horror film. I don't think he would have anything I need in here. Maybe duct tape? Contest photos. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. Oh. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Oh, it's easy. I do it. It's it's not really that hard. Look at this photo. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. You can say that. Two two things can be true at once. One, you know, people can suck and be the worst person on earth, but they can also be a decent photographer. Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. I don't know why I'm looking in here. I doubt there's any thing that I need. Oh! The tape is mine. Okay. I stand corrected. One more ingredient left. Okay, we need to go into probably the culinary room or something. Which is that first room that I didn't see. Okay. Right, because then which way? This way? It's probably this room. Yeah, they could have. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. They could have, uh, you know, upped the gamma a little bit in this game. Oh, there's sugar. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh. Okay, let's grab the sugar. Ooh, sugar. Cool. Let me look around now really quick. Now it's time quick. to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Periodic table. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else here. Graffiti. What does this say? I never said they were great, troll. I had sex with your mom. Did you guys see that? That little sticker? <laughs> oh, there's an aquarium. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but... I want a picture. How would you hate to wake them up? Good evening, oh, wake fish. the fish up. Sure, let's take a photo. Wait, that's not good for fish. Oh, wait, she didn't use flash. Thanks, okay, it's fish. fine. Nice work. I was like, you can't use flash photography with the fishies. Please resume your slumber. Okay. Um, anything back here? Nah? Okay, we're good. Cigarette. Oh, in the skeleton's mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Chloe. Because we're gonna blow something up, I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Chloe, I got all the ingredients. We're gonna blow this place up. A Take pipe bomb, that's what though. we're doing. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. Okay. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. I thought we were creating a lockpicker, not a pipe bomb. That was so fucking cool. Oh, I knew toast. that would happen. 
Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Obviously. Department. Uh, so what should we do? We should look. We should look. Right. Really quick. Or... Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Okay, rewind. Okay, well, we'll just rewind. I guess. I... I was gonna say, let's look. Okay, Chloe. Chloe. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Max, what the fuck? Literally. Yes. Max. I have to blow shit up. What? If you'll light the candle. Max, what are we doing? This is so cool. <laughs> Max, what are we doing? Okay, 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 okay. 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 Don't we just go in here? Don't we just... We don't go in here? Nothing's lighting up. I don't know what to do. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Unlock. So I can get this bastard <gasps> open. She can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. And no matter how much I play this game, I'm not going to be smart well, enough to actually play it right. <laughs> you no matter how much I do that. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. I just... Man, did... I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. I'm j I just can't... I'm just not smart enough for this How game. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a She was expelled? Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Did I know that? Did I know she was expelled? I if I did, I don't remember. Okay, As you guys sure. can tell, my retention ugly, is awful. But damn, is it a cozy chair? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. I'm going, girl. I'm going. Can we turn on a light or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Uh, what does Warren want? <laughs> I'll check in on me. Oh, please just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Ah, is Max flirting? I certainly can't use this. Can't use what? Why is it so dark over here? Oh, can oh. Oh, oh, perfect. Kate's file is just smack dab open in the middle of the desk. Let's go. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oh, wait, I want to read that. more files to go. I wanted to read that. Damn it. I meant to read it and I accidentally... Okay. It's fine. Um, search these books. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. Okay, wowzer. Did you find anything? Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Uh, careful. Just please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit. Yeah, okay. girl. Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. Oh, files? And nothing here. Girl, you're not even searching. You're not even searching. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Oh. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay, so let's figure something out about or figure some stuff out about Rachel. Update, unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, 
Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities. I just had a minor stroke, uh, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of a scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all her dreams with Blackwell as the full crumb. Okay, is it common for a school to make themselves the main like contributor to any student's success like this is just her files and it's it's mostly bragging about blackwell besides her then we have principal wells this is lt or lieutenant chris rossi just want to let you know that rachel amber's investigation has been officially closed on our our end we always hope for that one magic clue but once again arcadia bay covers up another secret we always keep our eyes and ears um open but that's all we can do from now thanks for all your help Man, Interesting. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. What did she do? A GPA 1.7. Okay. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. I want to see the attached police reports. Wow, Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Oh, files. Tumbleweeds. Girl, you can say lab or lab nab whenever you want. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Are you? Are you serious? 3.7 i feel like with being a star student at blackwell your your gpa can be a little bit more than 3.7 nathan nathan prescott continues his family's historical legacy at blackwell academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities including work with arcadia bay homeless fund nathan's also popular with students and faculty as he stands as a proud representative of blackwell academy okay who cares like i'm not gonna read my own personal file oh i'm gonna read mine 2.8 Dude. Okay. What? I feel like I overestimated these kids. I'm just surprised that Max's GPA is a 2.8. I feel like, I, f I mean, maybe she's bad to school. I'm not sure. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent uh, the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there's an ongoing police slash faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. Cool. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Victoria, uh, gold standard, student with consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities, reflector gold in photography. She receives high marks. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Ah, oh, Warren! See? That's my man's 4.0 GPA, baby, right there. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Mrs. Grant. Uh, we hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Love him. I think cool. we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. What is this? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Are you serious? Okay, Principal Wells. In light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. What a douchebag, Sean. Sean the shitter. I hate you. 
I don't expect anything less though from fucking Nathan's dad. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. I don't I, I didn't know there was a petition. Oh, this was for a new surveillance system. Damn, I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. So wait, this petition was for not having security? What? As principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. Why? Okay, wait, This the petition was for cameras not to be installed? I want camera. I want cameras everywhere. We need to know what's going on. I guess I'm not really mad about that because if they have, you know, the utmost concern for privacy, then what's the big deal? We should have cameras everywhere. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. They think if that they she was the bad influence? Nathan Prescott? That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look, Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. What over the hell? Over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it what? sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. A gift? No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? No. Yeah. Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best <laughs> friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? What Holy is this? shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Handicapped fund? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yes! Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. No! <laughs> Chloe, no. Absolutely not. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. Chloe, you got yourself but into yes, the situation. Moral Max is right again. I guess. That is. Let's get the hell out of this office, Moral. <laughs> There's no way people actually chose to steal the money. There's no way. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Uh, who cares? No, who cares? Because we got ourselves into the situation and we need to get ourselves out of it right. You know, like morally right, not by stealing money from handicapped people. That is just absolutely insane. And I just want to know if anybody who has done that um, in the comments, like, let me know what the fuck happens if you do that. Like, that is so beyond terrible. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. Okay. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Splish Did Splash. You actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> Dude. 
I just can't get over that. Like, I'm just so used to The Walking Dead where it's just like the decisions are so thought provoking. But in this game, I'm like, how can anybody choose that one? Like, <laughs> I wish I was a bad person to see what happens if I ch stole from the handicap fund. But not nah, Chloe, you fucked up and you just can't short shortcut yourself out of it at the expense of others. Not how it goes. I love our dynamic though. I keep her I want that heat in water. her place, you know? We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I was just wearing a different shirt in the last scene. I changed shirts. My other shirt was pink and it had a deer on it still, but this one's a completely different shirt. It's odd. Boys or girls? Uh, oh, fuck it, boys. Why boys, not? Of course. Why not? Fig. Per. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Literally, why not? Who cares? I don't know. See if there's any juicy stuff in here. Sex me up? Boys locker room is right. Yeah, wait, let me look at the lockers. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love Logan. Aw. Is there a light somewhere? A jacket? Oh my god, it's dark. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Where's a light? Oh, who's Jersey? No way am I touching Zach's Jersey. Zach's Jersey. Oh, cell phone. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? <laughs> when I'm around? Oh, to Vic Oh. Victoria sends him. Hey, I'm thinking bad things about you. Cool. What are you wearing? Cool. Period. <laughs> what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Odd. What are you wearing? I'm in locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. <laughs> it's literally it's so it's so accurate though. This man. And she's probably like, he's got so much riz. He's so sweet. Most boring person ever. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? What do you mean why? Max, come on. What do you mean, why? E cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Oh, Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Hello? Can we take some evidence? Take some photos? Floats? This must be for training kids. I still can't get over the sexting. Oh my god, she was probably like, that was so hot. That was so, he's so hot. And it's the most bland shit. <laughs> Victoria loves the... Doctor? Oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Is that D or Doctor? Mac Welcome to 1950. Why would they say that? Why would they say that? I bet you do. What does that say? Aww, oh, gay ram? That's my man you're talking about. Well, at least we're both getting shit written about us in here. Dana needs a baby daddy. Is that what that says? Oh my god, please, the light. Dana needs a baby daddy? <laughs> the meme face. <laughs> oh. What am I looking at? In the mirror? Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Pink goo. Bar of soap. Oh, somebody dropped the soap, guys. <laughs> 69 reasons to bang Rachel. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. 
Rescue board. We got the backboard. I know how to use that. Chloe, are you going to get in? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Okay. Where's the light? Light. This is showers. Light. Light. Oxygen there has kit. There be a control panel for the lights around here. Right here. There we go. Oh, we can't do this once the new surveillance system comes in, though, huh? Damn. Chloe just had her swimsuit on hand with her, or what? Yes, we get it. Otters. I thought we were the Bigfoots. Are we really the otters? Bigfoot's better. I don't know why I'm snooping. I need to just go enjoy myself. Go have some fun. Hey. Am I gonna Time get to in? Do or dive, Max. I wanna get in. Chloe, how do I change? I just wanna get in. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Don't blame me Tell for me that. I'm not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Yeah, I'm getting in. Let's go. Cowabunga! Woohoo! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> See, I love their friendship, but at the same time, I'm like, damn. Chloe's a I'll real bad influence. <laughs> Otter's revenge. But Shooter. Max also keeps yeah, her you know about that. <laughs> on track. So I guess it, it balance, they balance each other out. They're like yin and yang. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Oh, Kate's hell nah. Friend. Especially since I'm playing her. Need. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had, though? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be... dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? I mean, yeah. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Aww. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm we don't need to say that. Okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. I like, yeah, Warren is nice. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
is such a sweet mid-roll scene, you know? Gross. I like that. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Is Chloe falling in love with me? Hi! Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Are you shitting what? me? What happened? Did David? What's you looking in here for? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Oh, I'm so bad at hiding. Oh, no. Power. Or just look for a hiding spot. I'm so bad at hiding. 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 I'm so. And it, it also helps that I can't fucking see anything. I'm so bad at hiding. I'm so bad at hiding. Oh my god, he's over there. I can't see anything. Can't fucking see. Where is he? Hello? Anybody there? No. Hey. <gasps> Shit, I can't see anything. What the fuck am I supposed to hide? Okay, I'm trying to hide in the laundry in the thing right here. The thing? Can I hide in this thing? Where no? Hello? Oh, here? Here? No? Okay. There's absolutely no fucking where I can hide. I'm just gonna stay right here. Hello? Anybody there? I'm just gonna stay right here. Any Halloween pranks after today? I'm serious. Okay. I heard something over here. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Who's here? I no got, one. I got a flashlight and a stick. No one. No one. Where are you? Oh my god. No way he left? He left? Holy fuck, he left? I'm leaving? I'm leaving? This is why I wouldn't be good in Resident Evil. I can't do this type of stuff. I'm so not stealthy. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Turn around. They're coming. Uh oh, we uh oh, have to uh find oh. Another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car. Get in. Oh my god. We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> totally yes, not so inconspicuous. We're all dried out from the chlorine. I didn't realize Chloe's hair was like that in the top. What the heck? What the heck? And I'm wearing a different shirt? Take some, sure. 
always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Aww. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Ew. <laughs> like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though in the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Yeah. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Suck it. <laughs> taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Let's go. Get the day started. But Julie knows okay. I need to get dressed now. Bobby, throw away these pizza boxes, girl. What's in the store? Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Wow. I used to have... I used to have phones like that. Little flip phones. My first phone ever, actually, was an LG Octane. If you guys look that up, that was my first ever phone. I was so sick to have it. I was so stoked and it, it flipped instead of like slid and so dope. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, maybe we should go. If you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Um, should I use Chloe's laptop? Why not? Snooping. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Breaking in vandalism. Oh, police arrested a new man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off of Peck and Paw Road at approximately 852. The unidentified man was charged for being under the influence of energy drinks and meta met oh met <laughs> metamphetamines. He is being held without bail. Okay, we didn't vandalize anything. I don't know what they're talking about. She's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. She's in stable condition. Okay, we should visit her soon. Definitely, definitely. Oh wait, Warren texted me. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, drive-in is actually super popular. Or is actually popular, so I'm buying tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Aw, okay. I'm excited. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Ooh. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. Ouch. Please give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Yo, what? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Fuck it. Who cares? Let's go. I'm no, I'm no, no bitch. I'm no bitch. Mwah. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, Hopefully that's harmless. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't get any ideas. I, I, I don't really want this to be like kind of a Walking Dead situation, you know, when Clem could, could choose either Lewis or Violet. I don't really see that with, with Chloe, you know? Like if that's gonna be an option, I don't think I'll choose that option. Cause I just, I don't know, I just don't see it. 
Can I choose anything else or no, just that one? Okay. I think they work better as best friends, but I don't think they would make it as as lovers at all. <laughs> Look at me. Sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. Oh, I see. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> gotta wake and bake first, okay. Anything I gotta snoop for real quick? Cell phone. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. I, I would stop trying to compare yourself to Rachel, Max. Please. Please stop. Holy shit balls! Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Chloe money now? I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I get it. Now you freaking... Ew, new? I, I don't think we should have... Because what is, what is Chloe actively doing right now to go get that money? She's not. She's just like coasting. It's like you can't just take that shortcut. Like you're not actively trying anything. Maybe last absolute fucking lootly last resort. But like, girl, girl, you gotta, you gotta try something. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Okay. Let's just go get some breakfast. You guys see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. What'd Kate say? Thank you from- okay. Let me read it. Oh. Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at the school. Um, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. Aw. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers, love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hi, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can. Promise. Aww, Kate. I'm glad. I'm glad that she's okay. Hi, Joyce. Miss me? You miss me? Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now like tell her. Me exactly what you want to chow on. Um, give me some pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. Sure. You grab me the eggs and milk. Egg You're okay. Milk? No problem. Grab that. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Oh, cereal. Let's open that fridge. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh, is the milk out already or what? Where's the milk in there? No, where's the milk at? Oh, it's right here. Now for the mother's milk. Hello, what's this bottle doing here? Who drinks beer this who drinks beer this early around here? For real though. What's in the newspaper? Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. The flash snow and freak apo or eclipse apocalypse soon. Oh, superheroine saves suicidal black. Yikes. This is so it's accurate though, because at this time, even though it was like uh, you know, 11 years ago, right? 2013? This is set in like the earlier 2000s or whatever, or earlier 2010s. Um, it was still a time where like, we didn't kind of have quite the, the filter that we have today. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever.
whatever she is. Um, it's Rachel K. It was Rachel mad at Chloe? Ooh, Rachel. I think she's in trouble. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Yeah. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I like her. I like her a lot. I cannot see her with David. But then again, David's probably not all what he seems. Plant peanut butter. Is that her? Okay, I was like, your footsteps sound really far. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you. I'm never leaving this table. Oh, Good. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Nom, 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 nom. I'm hungry IRL. I've not eaten lunch yet. It's way past lunchtime. And pancakes sound really good. Oh, I might make that. Da -da 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 -da. I ate my pancakes. Let me look at this plant. I guess nobody waters the plant here. No. Oh, we should have put peanut butter on the pancakes. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Guys, peanut butter on pancakes is superior. That's, oh my God, I want that so bad right now. I want pancakes with peanut butter on it and blueberries. Oh my goodness. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Got that right. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... So he did die by car accident. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. So what Max said last episode was really I fucked up. I show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. Wow, she looks completely different. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. That was just banter. That was just funny. Oh, I'm busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Yeah, Nobody Chloe, else there's... Does. No reason to be like, everybody's against me, the world hates me, blah, 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 blah. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Oh, Let's try again. It's <laughs> a good one. I need more clues. Crap, okay. Okay, clues. <laughs> what? 
Look at her chin. Why is her chin like that? Why are his lips? He's got fillers. He's got that juvederm. Oh my god. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. That's cute. Okay, let's try that. She's not serious, right? Family? Sure. Why not? Stepdad? Sure. Why not? Such wrong. Yeah, of course. I might have only a few attempts, so I might need to conserve. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Uh, book? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I'm not sure. I could try the license number for the password. License number? I Who would put their license? I mean... Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I don't think he would put his ID number. Padlock. Mm, this padlock. Oh, what is the number? What are the numbers? David, I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. That's the best lead I've got so far, I think. Nothing in it. Yeah, I think the padlock is our best guess. Um, army. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Back. Personal. Seven one. Yeah, let's try that one. Worst hacker ever. Yikes. No okay. Way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. It said three attempts. I only did two. It said three. I only did two. Okay, let's try the army and let's try this. Nope. Great. No way, Max. Great, 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 great. Um, let's try personal and this stupid oh, number for no. Off. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Laptop. Okay, not anything there. This trophy. David has been dragging his head around since two thousand and one. Probably not. Oh, tape? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. These are all really stupid things that I would never think about for a password, but maybe that actually makes them really good. David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Just married. Um, a bag. That's cute. Could be a password here. Survey company. Okay, I'm just gathering everything that I possibly can. Sun visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love talk. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, name is Joyce if you forgot. That's cute. It might be a useful password. Oh, the date that they met. 11-27-08. That makes... Okay, that makes the most sense. Having your password as the day that you and your spouse met. That is a really good passcode. So, family. And this one. Ha cool. Yes, of course. The hacker strikes again. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber, whoa, Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Um, and then we have the police report. Incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of security for campus, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to, to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club party drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. 
Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Not a bad assumption. Kate has kept her to herself since Vortex Club party, not even church. Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. What is this, this loser is doing? so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. He has my schedule. He has my schedule. What is my aliases? Mad Max, Max Factor, Nor, Angel? I'm no Mercy Max. That's my thing. No Mercy Max. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Hey, Chloe, your stepdad's a creep who's keeping tabs on every single thing about every single person at the school and he's stalking everybody. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know Brother, for calm sure down. it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Brother, you take your job way too seriously. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He yeah. threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You Put your hand down. Getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? True. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. Yeah. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. I don't know why I'm you getting involved. Me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Period. Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Dude, that escalated so I hope fast. Chase doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't know why I had to do that. Like, what? Max, just keep your fucking mouth shut. This isn't your family. But, like, I can potentially see the consequences of doing this. Like, like David's actually like onto some good police work potentially, but Max was right that he's focusing on the wrong people. Like he's not focusing on Nathan as he should be. Um, and yeah, I think in that situation I had to side with him or I had to side with them because if I sided with him, shit would have hit the fan. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Okay, I won't. Let me go talk to you really quick. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I understand. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Okay. Understood. Let's skedaddle, Chloe. I gotta get out. I gotta leave. I'm like slightly second guessing that scenario i see i could have rewinded but i i feel like i only need to rewind when i want to change my decisions but i think in some cases i can rewind 
just for funsies, just to see what the other outcome would do. But then I'm wasting so much time, like, rewinding when I'm, like, Listen, happy with what happened. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? More What's snooping. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. More snooping. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. <laughs> like he's so out of his mind. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. So, uh -oh. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and... Chloe. I'm not following. This. I'll be right back. I, I don't got this. I'm actually not what following my at all. plan get in the way of yours? I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now Mangy to find a mutt. quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Um, let me go snag him and then rewind. Easy. Dad. I forgot I have parents. Uh, Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. Not ready to come home yet. Talk to you later. Okay. I'm just going to go steal the keys and then rewind. Easy peasy. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I'm gonna talk to this cop again. Officer. Oh, never mind. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. <laughs> oh, what does Warren have to say? It's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them. Oh, freaking nerds. That's so cute. Can I text him back, please? Come on. Oh, Warren. Warren fought for me. All right, let's spill your fucking can. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's um, let's look at his plate. Frank Bauer stars in a face full of beans. Let's speak to him first. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Yeah, how do you because know? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or, or even Nathan? Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Chat up to his officer? Officer? There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Um. Oh, maybe I should pry some info out of him. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's makes sense. Eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Mm -hmm. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. 
What can I do for you, Max? Um, I want to get yeah. I'm, I'm getting some Nathan Prescott key information. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent? Taking over Arcadia Bay. You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. What was that? Okay. Cool. Forget that I said all that, and now we say... Um, Kate Marsh? I guess Kate Marsh oh, will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I didn't see the Prescott deal. Fuck. Yeah, let's go. Well, Talk about that. I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? Nope. I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family <laughs> to make sure they're doing all right. Who's this Nathan lady? included. Keep this quiet, Max. Okay, but what if I don't want to? Okay, I got all that info, but it's not really what I need. Oh, let's go talk to fucking Nathan's little bitch ass Nathan. I don't want to talk to him. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, okay, apparently Rachel was the only oh, one who dressed look, like this. Max Amber, nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. What does that Lucky even mean? This is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Uh, next. Cops information, Rachel and Frank. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Blood oath? Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Blood oath? Huh. Interesting. Rachel. Let's talk about Kate. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? <laughs> you were so stupid, Max. <laughs> stupid. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Yeah, you're so right. fucking wired. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Now oh, this guy's wow. This guy's got horrible issues. Now let's talk Rachel. about drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Wow. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. <laughs> How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? He better Calm not fall down, for this. That's crazy. Up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Thank you. I'm not going to. I don't think I need to press anymore with him. Yo, higher education, dickwad. You have higher education. David is after the gun by drugs. Chloe died. Oh. Oh, 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 by the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living, not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Damn. 
Um, maybe I should rewind all the way, even with Nathan. I'm going to rewind with Nathan. Okay. Now I'm going to speak to you again. Okay. And we're going to say... Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Uh... David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. He's not gonna let me buy drugs, though? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> but... But nothing. Ah, <coughs> oh, he's not gonna let me do anything. Oh my god, I think you still need to help me. Rach um... What was back? Blood Oath? Oh, the Blood Oath. Yes, yes, yes. Were you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the Blood Oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood Oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Uh... I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Wait, I think I maybe need to do the whole... I think I need to get him to confess the blood oath to me first and then say blood oath. And then... Yeah, uh, maybe I don't. You know what? I'm going to go talk to the cop now, now that I know. What can I do for you, Max? Now that I know the blood oath. Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Oh. But to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. What can I do for you, Max? <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Um. Okay, stay away from that creep. Okay, there's, there's something that has to do with this dog. Which Chloe has. So now... I... Talk to him about the dogs? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. We appeal to One, him now? I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, oh. you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Let me grab Look him. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Let me just grab him and rewind. I'm just gonna grab him and rewind. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Oh, give me back my keys, bitch. Get the back. Get the fuck back there. Get back there. You saw nothing. Nothing happened. You stupid bitch. Bye. Now back to Chloe. 
That's really what it took? Jesus, that took so long. Oh, there's a... Uh, what's her face? What was that, fisherman? Nah, I used my rewind morning. power too much. Who How cares? Was the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Don't say that. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Okay. Sorry, Alyssa, that that happened to you. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Ah, uh, do you have any... Ugh. Are you still drowning in it? Alyssa, look out! Warren! Alyssa, watch out! Quit Just making thinking, sure... Max? Now, do you want to talk to me? Do you have any? Do you have any? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Do you have any valuable information? Thanks, Max. I wish you could have helped me the other day when I got tagged by a football and toilet paper. I kind Next of. Next time, I'll make sure you don't get hit. I wish I could. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Um, it's my friend. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Okay. Okay, I see that did me some good. Okay, I need to, you know, use my powers no matter what, pretty much. Yo, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Girl, why can't you handle the dog? On your mark, get set. Throw! <gasps> uh, throw towards the. Oh, parking lot, parking lot, parking lot. Not the road. Oh, the I don't want the dog to get going. hit. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? I don't want the now dog to get hit. But let's not waste time. Let's go. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. I'm down to kill him and take the RV. Who would miss him? You know? I don't think anybody would you miss him. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Frank, the archetypal filthy guy dishes. Naste. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Good to know. Um, candy bar, baggies. Anything in his room? A blowtorch. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Um. What the hell? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Katie. Wi-Fi out here. It's taken days to download the porn. Yep. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Both, probably. It's got a book. Is Frank going to deal online now? Probably. Um. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Almost. He sucks though. What's in I here? He's hiding his stuff? Open with the right tool. Okay, gotta find a tool, gotta find a tool, gotta find a tool. 
gotta find a tool, gotta find a tool. Dog bowl, dog food, bottle. Police radar. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anything up here? I can't do you pry it open with a knife or what? Yeah, okay, let's do the knife then. This is almost as good as a set of keys. I was looking for like a screwdriver or something, but I guess not. Oh, it broke. Curses. Nothing here. Okay, rewind. Because we're going to check this one now. My blade will open any portal. Nice. Is that a phone? What is that? Oh, it's a oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Art R.A. Oh, she liked him actually? Oh, gross. Ooh, Frank's stash. Chloe, you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this at all. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Chloe. Well, who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, don't act like this. Uh -oh. Did I mess up? I don't I don't think I could have rewinded, so that's just how it goes. But he definitely is a little a little hurt. Can't really blame her, but at the same time, like, girl, calm down. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Facts. It's so not fair. Facts. I blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Uh, it's nobody's fault, it's girl. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? What? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes... Even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No. Yes. Of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. She needs to go to therapy. Holy moly. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. She shouldn't be driving with all these emotions. Chloe really needs to go to therapy, though. She's got some 
issues. Like, why are you mad at me? I'm giving you evidence. I'm, like, helping you. Like, what the f- dude. What? They're best friends. Best, best friends. Oh my god. What is happening now? What was that? What was that? I have a new ability? Oh, whoa. 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 What? I have a new ability! No way! What am I gonna do with it? Go back and someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey, you look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my just, god. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe, give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. This is way too much. Wow. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in crepes. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. God, she is so different. Whoa. Mom, Mom said it depends. That's oh, true. William. So, how many eggs? Chloe is just so damn so happy and carefree. Like you're the real cook here. And this is the last time, unless I change it. I when your mom is away. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. What? I won't. Let him die today? No way we're actually going to alter the time from five years ago. Joyce loves William so much. What? We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two Wells waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. No way I can actually stop. Hello? Do I go answer the phone? Whoa. It's all blurry here. Hello? Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Wow. With Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Man. I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come. I know <gasps> I've seen those pictures before. No, 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 no. Mocha. Be there shortly. No, 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 Love you. no. No, 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 no. I no, have no. to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> no, You'll no, no, no. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. Where are you the mean keys? Your college fund. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Drawing? Where are the keys? Keys? I know they never took that big vacation. Uh -huh. <gasps> you can't hide. Keys. Do you remember how many eggs? Score. That's true. Now what am I gonna do? Oh, hide them? Dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. Yes, in the cookies. When your mom is away. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. No way, I'm actually just doing this. Like this is crazy. Don't I know about the consequences? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Don't I know about the consequences of messing with time? Apparently not. I'm gonna answer. 
Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Shit. Hey. Oh, no, a little bit more? A little bit more? Question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I could, I could call Joyce at the Two Whales Diner and warn her. <gasps> okay. If I had the number. Oh, I didn't hide the keys yet? Oh, I have to hide the keys. Hide keys. Okay. Fuck. Shoot. Okay. Notebook? I'll just hide the keys there, I guess. <gasps> I'm going all the way. I'm just gonna not worry about hiding the keys yet. Hold on. How many eggs? I could call Joyce at the Two yes. Wheels Diner and warn her. I could call Joyce at the Two Wheels Diner and warn her. If I had the number. I need to look at the number right here. Yes. Here's the Two Wheels number. Now I can warn Joyce. Okay. Call. Call. I was trying to click the notebook and it kept clicking uh, the phone. Hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. She left? I'll let her know that. Okay, hide the keys, hide the keys, hide the keys, hide the keys. In the cookies, hide the keys, in the cookies, hide the keys, in the cookies, hide the keys, in the cookies. Okay, so... Ex what? Honey. Shoot, okay. So I need to call a different number. All the way. All the way. I'll let oh, okay. Know. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Oh, telephone. Oh, unplug it, unplug it. Boom. Disconnected. Unplug and then hide the keys. And then hide the keys. Okay, I'm always going to hide the keys in the cookies. Hey, Who's going to look in the cookies for the keys? I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a <sighs> fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all okay. going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, lady. What the heck? What do I do? What do I do? Speak. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Oh, crap. Okay. Low-key? Low-key, I'm like, this must just be fate. Right? Like, come on. This has to be fate. Like, what? If it, it's this hard... If it's this hard to, to get him to not go drive his car... Disconnected. Oh my god, brother. Like, if it's Remember, this hard to, to get him to not die, That's he might... He's just he's probably gonna Disconnected. die. Disconnected. Don't you dare Like, at some, at some point, right. you need to just like not chance fate. Here? Okay, I need to speak with you. Don't use your car. Don't use your car. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. He's got his phone on him. What am I supposed to do? Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. I'm not joking, then girl. You stop him, Super Max. Chloe, please. The sink. Hide the keys in the sink. Why not? I don't know. Hey.
I know I had those keys right here. I know oh. it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. Oh, I you put it in the right the bus, place. Right? The stop is right down the street. Because he would have this I kinged can do. them. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Wow, I really just did that? Max, oh, okay, good thing so I put the keys in the sink. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. What did I just do, dude? Yeah, that never happened. Never happened. Oh, she got a track. This is crazy. There's no way that not every single thing in this world is fucked up now. Is that Warren? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was We're friends? Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Why am I friends Nobody with these people? when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Aww. Oh, no. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Oh, oh no, I'm friends with the Vortex Club and Warren's with another girl. Everything's so <laughs> fucked up. I could live with that if it means that Chloe's dad's alive. I have to go back and change it, right? There's no way. Because I'm going to realize like everything is everything is fucked up and and or maybe everything's better. I actually don't know. No, this game can't actually make me just go change everything. Let's go see how Chloe is and then we'll determine this. I feel bad for Mr. Madsen, though. <laughs> Being a school bus driver. Is that a whale? Two whales? Why are whales washing up? Oh my god, don't tell me we're gonna have a tsunami instead. What? Chloe? Chloe? Max, 
Max Caulfield. Aww. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. I break of, down right there. I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. I'd break down and cry Chloe, so hard right there. You have a visitor. That's kind of out of pocket, no? <laughs> what? what? Oh no, what happened to her? Okay, I was thinking there has to be something that's gonna, you know, entice us to want to change back to the- and I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not that. Okay, here are our little stats. Um. I, I knew, yeah, I knew putting Frank's dog in the road would get him killed. So looks like I pretty much did the majority of like what everybody else would do, except for the money thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'll deal with the consequences later, but I could not steal money from handicapped people. Kind of ironic now. Um, oh shit. Oh, I could have gone into the girl's restroom and done a bunch of st Wow, I didn't change the girl. That was in the girl's restroom, huh? Warn the homeless woman. You didn't take a photo in the past. Dude, I, I suck at this game. No matter how much I think that I'm like enjoying this game and then I look at this, I'm like, damn, I didn't even do half the shit I should have done. You, I, I would have to sit here for like four hours though. I've been almost recording for three hours. I would have to sit here for so long to go through everything. I just can't do that. I, I, I don't know. Okay, that was it for episode three. And I, again, did not uncover as much as I should have. It's very like, it's hard. You just kind of get caught up in the game and then you just like go for it. It's really hard to think about like, oh, I could do this though. I could do this, I could do this. Like I'm just a very like tunnel vision person. I just, I, I don't know. So if you guys have any valuable insight to what happened in that episode that I had missed, like, let me know down in the comments. You can spoil that. You can be like, yo, if you went to the girl's bathroom, you would have gotten on the list like I just saw. So stay tuned for next episode where we uncover what happened. And overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the path that I chose. And don't forget to leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.